Welcome to Redbeard and the Den of Tools.
Howdy ho, guys and gals. This was kind of a, a gift for me for the for the missus. This was her father's and uh, perhaps may have been other family members as well. And uh, I'd hoped to get this done uh, by Friday, you know, Pearl Harbor Day and all. But it, it ran longer than expected. But hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed the, uh, the process. It was uh, fairly tedious. It took me the better part of a week. Uh, you know, a lot of that was sitting around letting these, those uh, chemicals do their thing. Now, citrus strip is great for removing paint. Uh, but we had three layers of paint on this box and the bottom layer being that uh, industrial military grade paint and the citrus strip couldn't do anything to that. But it, it chewed through the other two layers as you can see. One thing I'll point out is uh, in soaking the hardware trying to get the paint off, uh, I tried the mineral spirits. That didn't work. Um, I tried some other stuff. Nothing else uh, did anything. I went back to the store. That, that stuff in the red can, that's no joke. All right, uh, if you get something like that, uh, I'll put a link down below to uh, some of the stuff. But if you play around with that well-ventilated area and you want some like hazmat approved gloves, I tried to double up on some of my regular plastic gloves and it ate through both layers, like chewed through it like nobody's business, almost singed my fur. Anyway, uh, again, wear a respirator, wear eye protection. You know, you don't want to lose an eye or get, you know, lung cancer or something just for doing these projects. So stay safe and have fun. Now, as I said, that was a World War II box. And originally, it looked something like this. Uh, it's kind of like your field telephone kind of thing. And with a little bit of elbow grease and a little perseverance, you could turn something like this into something like that. Needless to say, the missus is pretty happy with her early Christmas present. Anyway, I know a lot of you are expecting that the forge build and I'm still working on it. I got some parts being shipped in. Also the inside of this box, I know it looks unfinished. I'm planning to flock the inside of it. Yeah, 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 save your puns to yourself. And uh, apparently you can't buy flocking powder anywhere locally anymore. So I've ordered it, I'm having it shipped in, but this was close enough to done, I wanted to get it out to you here. So anyway, take care and as always, shine on. Thanks for watching the video. If you'd like to help support the channel, the easiest way is our one, two, three method. First, chomp that like button, give us a thumbs up, spread the word with a share, and subscribe and ring the bell. Remember, if you don't ring the bell, YouTube doesn't really believe that you want to watch the videos. But maybe you'd like to take it a step further. Maybe you want to go over to Patreon and consider subscribing to the channel. For only a dollar a month, you can become a Black Bear member and help support the Den of Tools. Also, YouTube now allows us to sell merch directly on each video. Yeah, if you scroll down below the video, right where you see the description, right below that, you should start seeing a little pop-up window that shows you some of the Denna Tools merch. Or pick up a copy of the Home Distiller's Workbook, your guide to making moonshine, whiskey, vodka, rum, and so much more. And we still have the DeBear shirts available. Links to those items, as always, are in the description below.